In my neighborhood, and I mean it literally, in my neighborhood, there's two things that are valued above all else. One is loyalty, and the other is courage. And uh, in my neighborhood, and in my family, there's never been an important event in my life that you all haven't been there. In every single critical moment of my life, you guys have been with me. When I grew up in a little town called Claymont, Delaware, going to a Catholic grade school across the street, it was a fire hall. Everything in my town, everything in my state, resolves around the fire hall. That's where you get buried, that's where you get married, that's where you go to dance, and that's where you go to cry. And in 1972, soon after I got elected, if you excuse this point of personal privilege, my wife and my three kids were driving along Christmas shopping on December 18th. I was in Washington, and a guy driving a tractor trailer broadsided my wife and children and killed my wife and killed my daughter. And guys I grew up with, the people who got me elected, they were the ones there with the jaws of life in their hands saving the life of my two sons. It was my fire company, my fire company, to save my children. You know what my fire company does for me? My kids, Harold, after they got them out, they're hospitalized a long time, a different firefighter every damn day would come in and hang with my kids. For the next 16 years, my fire company on Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, would get the ladder, get these guys dressed up as Santa Claus and elves and come to my house just to make my kids feel good. The first six years it was a big, big deal. After that, <laughs> they came for the eggnog. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen,